We are about to see something good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Silsby, Texas, weighing in at 361 pounds, the strongman, Mark Henry. We talk a lot about locker room dynamics. You'll never hear a single negative thing backstage about this superstar. Oh, well, that is what happens when you treat your fellow superstars with respect. They respect you right back. There are no awards for congeniality here in WWE. That respect means nothing if you lose. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one. Yeah, now we're talking. And his opponent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, Chris Herrick. Oh! A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight. We've got one of the most outspoken superstars on the roster in the ring right now. Yeah, Cole, he's made it very clear what his intentions are and that no one is going to stop him. They might be intentions, but only time will tell if he's a man of his word. Yeah, but he's taken on a superstar with a mean streak a mile wide. I know I wouldn't want to be in the ring with this guy. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Whipped hard into the buckle, full head of steam, face first. Got their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. Oh, he retaliates. Popped right in the face. Snapmare. There's the kick. Jarring impact. He's looking a little off balance. Insulting. That's going to fire you up with anger. Now, that'll do some serious damage. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. Yeah, he is sparing no energy right now. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. What a counter. He's managing to get some control back now. Yeah, he's able to stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command? Check your face after that one. Boot to the stomach. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Oh, ouch! He turns it around. So much damage inflicted. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Flashback! He's starting to struggle here. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Watch out! Oh, straight to the floor! Oh, no. Decided to take a leap of faith and paid the price. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. He steers clear of contact. Close line! Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head.
Has him up for the power slam and instead delivers the inverted DDT. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Manages to beat the count and get back in the ring. With no time to spare, really. Up high! Wow! Cross body! His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Oh, look at this! The power! Gotta wonder if that keeps him down or fires him up. Makes a cover! Near fall! The biggest weapon in his artillery fired back at him. But he survived it. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. Able to reverse. Going for a power slam, slips down, countered into an inverted DDT. Oh, my Lord. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. Now, oh, look at the trying to find a way out. Using his power to escape. Ooh, avoided the attack with a nasty chop block. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe. Uh-oh. Cross body. Whoa. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Oh. Jawbreaker. Call the dentist. You can see the anguish growing on his face. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. Stop in the leg. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Uh oh Suicide dive! One. Thinking about a surfboard submission, no! Double stomp to the legs. Two. Looking for a suplex, but their opponent putting on the brakes in a reversal. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. The advantage is squarely in his corner. Haymaker connects. He switches it back around. Oh! He's back into the ring. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Taking this match off the mat now. From the top! Look out for and that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Able to avoid there. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. Ugh, twisting the bottom. What a win, what a hard-fought battle we just experienced. I'm not sure how well this superstar is gonna take the loss, or maybe not too bad at all. That's what you love to see. Great sportsmanship after a spectacular match.
And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Here we go, guys. And their opponents, first from Mobile, Alabama, weighing in at 400 pounds, Crush Holly. I don't always agree with it, but this superstar isn't afraid to come out here and take things by force. Oh, you hypocrite. I'll just wait until another superstar, one you don't like, Saxton, decides to come out and take what they want, and we'll see how you respond then. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. Things are about to get good. And from Mobile, Alabama, weighing in at 236 pounds, Hardcore Holly. Talk about an intense competitor. This superstar doesn't have an off switch. Nobody has an off switch, Saxton. Trust me, if you had one, I'd have hit it a long time ago. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. And this tag team match is sure to be filled with exciting action. These teams want the win bad tonight, and they'll fight hard to get it. Yeah, these superstars look like they're all business, not a weak link among them. Elbow drop. Piercing. Piercing he got whipped into that corner. That's a tag. This team working like a well-oiled machine. Oh, man, targeting the gut. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Boom! Good night. What a knee. Here's the combo of strikes. Knee oh. right to the face. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. He can end it here. He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pen. He saw that one coming. Double axe handle. Oof. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Ooh, face first. He's lost some of his win now. And a carefully measured knee drop. He's turning the tables. Cinches up the arm and a vicious kicks to the jaw. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Tagged in. Got the full Nelson. Slam! Stop after stop after stop. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Right to the face. My God. Stop after stop. Relentless. Up and around and took the world slam. 
Just breaking down the opponent. Batista is out of his cage. The animal is in full force. And that was a precisely measured attack. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Batista with a patented Batista bomb. Batista got all of him. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Slam hard on the apron. And an impressive amount of offense against him here. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Oh, he fights Batista back. He's finally able to slow down all those incoming attacks. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Yes, tag! Watch the quickness on this. Into the snap suplex. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, and I rake. That's not right, but effective. Oh, crushing the knee here. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Oh, man. Tags him in. Got him up. And we just saw some serious offense. Look at him seizing the momentum here. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Vicious right forearm. Turned that one around. He's looking to get back in this. He got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. And he's able to counter. Placing them into the corner, across the top rope, what a hot shot. Counters that. Momentum going back to his corner. Yeah, he's getting some newly determined focus. He's just getting thrown around out here. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Saw the opening and turned it into a jawbreaker. Burying knees into the body. He keeps his team in the match. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Oh! Oh! Nasty right hand! It's a guy to the floor! Back with a punch to the gut. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh! I'll tell you this, guys. No competitor here is looking to give in. It's going to take a lot. Uh-oh. And he's able to reverse. He has him right where he wants him. With the tag is Batista. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Well, the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. Got him up. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. Yeah, not looking good at all. Cover. Two. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Able to sidestep it. Oh, hard impact in the corner. And Batista gets warded off. Measuring. Oh, oh face stop. Ooh. 
Uh-oh. Driving a knee into the arm. Figure four. Submission. Grueling matchup. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility. Uh, here comes the gold medalist. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds. A man who will take on any competitor on any night. Yeah, Kurt Angle considers the entire locker room an open challenge. One of the all-time greats, the Hall of Famer, Latino Heat. Heat. From El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. And without question, one of the most pivotal superstars in the history of our industry. Now you're right, Byron, a true hero on both sides of the Monday Night Wars, from WCW Cruiserweight Innovator to WWE Champion and Hall of Famer. If somehow you beat Angle definitively, you can absolutely make a name for yourself. Uh, here we go to start this thing. A little... Uh stare down and maybe a show of respect why not shake their hand there we go that's how we need to start a matchup all right now that pleasantries have been exchanged let's tear each other apart well i know graves isn't gonna like this but that was mutual respect between the competitors of course i like it that just means they're not gonna hold anything back in this matchup there's the battle we've already seen the respect these superstars share for each other not just a show of respect for each other, but for the ring. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Caught the arm and is testing its tensile strength. And his hope is starting to fade. Oh, look at this. Great move. Oh, and that'll break it up. Ah, crush a hamstring. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. And a series of vicious stomps. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. If you either want to pose in Andy Guerrero tonight, Corey, what do you focus on to score the victory in this match? You need to adapt to Guerrero's playbook, which is a complete lack of a rule book. Be aware when he's willing to lie, cheat, or steal, and initiate proper countermeasures. Stop him from malfeasance, and know when you can perhaps get one over on Latino Heat. 
Oh, God, that hurt. I can see a little frustration in Eddie after that, maybe losing some composure. Yeah, and Kurt just exhibited one of his three eyes. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Eddie gets countered. Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara on bar. It's not embarrassing to tap out. He'll save your career. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. Timeout, guys. Yeah, Eddie, I think he was playing chicken. Driven down, powerbomb. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Caught with a jawbreaker. And Angle now challenging his opponent to show him the three eyes. Taking flight. You gotta be kidding me. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Sit straight into the barricade. And a reversal by Guerrero. Three, Oof. Straight punch. Yeah. That was mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Uh oh, submission move. Fujiwara. Eddie's hope is starting to fade in this match. Eddie better like Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. He skirts around it. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Able to get the advantage here. Eddie Guerrero, Corey. Latino Heat hooks him up. Brain buster. And there's the cover. Kicks out before the two count. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. A 110th Street slam. Splayed across the top turnbuckle. Certainly not ideal. He's returning fire. Oh, one step ahead of Angle. Arm drag, nicely done. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look at the height. Oh, huge miss there. This match has been utterly spectacular. Latino Heat is at a record-breaking high. And Angle is on his A game, giving this everything he's got. Eddie with a reversal. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Picks the leg, looking for the ankle lock submission. An agonizing... The ankle lock is in. There's no escape. Oh, hold on. Maybe there is. Oh, and a reversal. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Going up. Uh-oh. Fighting out. Hammering away with punches to the face. He had it scouted. Kurt setting it up. From behind. Angle slam. Is it enough? Saber forever. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one.
Here is your winner, Kurt Angle. When you share mutual respect with your opponent, it can give you a confidence boost. It looks like that boost helped one more than the other here, though. Come on, Byron, not everyone can win. A well-earned and deserved victory here. Yeah, Corey, it's hard to criticize someone when they embody that level of respect. Get ready for the whole damn show. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. A true trailblazer when it comes to unorthodox style in the ring. From the underground to superstardom, Rob Van Dam is truly the whole damn show. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. And his opponents first. Representing Evolution from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds. Triple A. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow. From a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple-time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE. And he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From D-Generation X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. Here comes the ever unpredictable and the always explosive Cactus Jack. And from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack, an individual always dreaming up innovative ways to put himself in harm's way. I am honestly scared to think about what goes on in the mind of Cactus Jack. I hope there's medical staff standing by for this match. I think we're going to need them. All right, you're right about that, Cole, and the fire department as well, and perhaps a cleanup crew, and maybe a barbed wire removal specialist. Do those exist?
three superstars stand ready for what should be a hectic triple threat match. In tonight's bout, we have Rob Van Dam, Triple H, and Cactus Jack. It's all about outsmarting and outlasting two opponents to claim victory here. So you gotta make sure you don't get too far ahead of yourself. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Stiff headbutt. Wards that attack off. Leg drop across the neck. And some say the only limit in an ODQ is your own imagination. Right, so Saxton wouldn't stand a chance. For everyone else, though, the sky is the limit. Anything you wish you could do to get a win, you could probably arrange it here. So my advice is to hold nothing back. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. That'll hurt DDT. Ow! The attack will put Cactus Jack's toughness to the test. RVD attacking with reckless abandon there. Just cranking the head. Big knee to the midsection. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Able to give him the slip. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Oh, uh, working on the arm. Armbreaker. Oh, and a kick. That was nasty. Vicious right forearm. Inverted suplex. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Oh, no. Now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Shark punch. Getting him into the corner. Close line. So effective. He can do it here. And he breaks up the pin and the match continues. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. What a spine buster by the game. Triple H decimating the hardcore icon. He wants to banish Cactus Jack into exile. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Ah, oh, here you go. Pedigree. Wow. Triple H got it for the win. Two. No, my, that was close. On absolute instinct alone, RVD managed to kick out. But does Van Dam even know where he is right now? You can tell Triple H thought this one was over. The game is completely enraged right now. Left by the turnbuckles. He's taking some good hits. Here's Cactus Jack's signature no limits offense making an impact. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Oh, Jack caught by the counter. Deconstructing the knee there. Reversal from the game. The sledgehammer, how are you coming from that? Oh, using that hammer like this was a track and field event. Now look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Just fell short. 
You can see the battle scars on their bodies, and they are telling an epic tale. These men are showing everyone the desire, the strength, and the will it takes to compete at this level. Now look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. And he sends him into the corner. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Solely focused on... Oof! He takes control. DDT! Suplex! He's heading up top. Thinking big. Rob Van Dam Splash! RVD ending this fight right there. Good night. Oh, didn't see that one coming. This place has come unglued. Rightfully so. Out thinking the cerebral assassin. The game is one step ahead. Close line. Good lord. So effective. He can't take any more of this. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Elbow right to the nose. Headbutt. But Avoiding contact. What a biotic elbow. Cactus Jack has it locked in. Brutalizing his opponent with a mandible claw. Kick to the gut. Around into a neck breaker. Boom. Oh, ouch. Saw it coming. This couldn't do it. He kicks out before the count starts. This is insanity. Did you expect anything less? Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. Nice counter from Van Dam. All eyes focused on this absolute roar. It doesn't get more masterful than this. Does he have him here? And a quick kick out. Thought he had him. You gotta be kidding me. Whiplash, neck breaker. Good God, what force. The hammer dropped, literally. Something might be broken. Into the right now. Takes their breath out, effective counter. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, a steel chair. And he hightails it to ringside. He certainly has to be piecing together a new game plan now. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Driven into the barricade. Uh-oh. Cross face. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. And rolls him off. He deflects it right back. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. He climbs into the ring. Laying in a big hit with that hammer. Whoa, they just chucked that hammer right at him. Looking for something, anything under the ring. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. A deafening cheer from the WWE Universe is reverberating around us. Absolutely unreal. Somebody better check his nose. Oh, a knee! Lights out. Oh, 
both arms hooked. Pedigree apply. Good night. Cactus with a cause for alarm. Two. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. And you can see the gears in Triple H's head turning. Oh, what is he? Oh, a fireball to the face. Whoa, stiff headbutt. Cactus Jack has him hooked. Stop pulling driver. Jack might have this wrapped up. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Triple H looking to end this match. Pedigree. That's got to end it this time around. Looking for the victory. Two. Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Here is your winner, Triple H. Quite the performance from all three superstars in this match. There's a reason this is called a triple threat match, gentlemen, and these three superstars just showed us all why. The WWE Universe just exploded! This one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait. This poor superstar has just stepped onto the battlefield against the last outlaw. It's going to be a long night for this guy. WWE Universe knuckle up. Here comes Big Evil. Representing the Brothers of Destruction from Death Valley. Weighing in at 305 pounds. The Undertaker. A metamorphosis of destruction is on display. He may not dress like Satan himself anymore, but he's still down with the devil and ready to get medieval tonight. The dead man is in prime fighting shape and looks ready to throw hands. Facing big evil is not about winning or losing. It's about trying to find a way to survive. And I have to say, the champ looks ready, maybe even eager for this matchup. Probably feeling a little extra confident knowing that the title isn't in contention here, but this could still be a hard-fought match. I don't think there's much question of that. But across the way is Big Evil himself, The Undertaker, here to show the world that this is his yard, 
where you have to play by his rules. And here's a spoiler. The only rule is that the dead man always wins. Yeah, oftentimes when someone climbs into the ring with The Undertaker, you feel like they're just marching towards their fate. Taker doesn't mess around. He just demolishes the opposition and moves on to the next. I'm sure he expects to make short work of this match. Here we go, the Exploder! And I don't think The Undertaker has quite found his opponent's weaknesses yet. And that prevents Undertaker's attack. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Undertaker has been one of the most feared competitors in WWE for decades now. What is it that has kept him in the upper echelon so long? Well, it's not one thing, Cole. It's everything. But Taker took it a step further. He's been able to summon the supernatural, which has taken him from feared to spine-chilling. Next-level physical skills mixed with sheer terror is what made Undertaker who he is. Great wherewithal on the counter. Ooh, that'll kill you over. There you go, Cole. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free from behind. Chop block. Counter. And now there's an opening. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Into the corner now. Boom. Right to the midsection. So ruthless. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a free fall. A bad spot to be in for Undertaker. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. And a reversal from the Undertaker. These two going strike for strike, it seems. Boom! It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Nothing pretty here, just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going on. Who will break first? That is the question. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the jackhammer. The Undertaker in a bad way. Two count. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. The dead man still very much alive, despite taking what I can only describe as a hellacious maneuver. It is unreal that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end most matches. Bam! Undertaker showing no answer. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the jackhammer. This one is done. Two. Hold the phone. Wanting to join in on the celebration, but not quite sure what to make of it. Yeah, none of us are. What is the meaning of this?